ओम शांति टुडे बाबा इज टेलिंग अस नॉट टू बी अटैच्ड टू एनी बॉडीली बीइंग एंड यू सी दैट वी ऑल कम फ्रॉम अ वर्ल्ड वेयर वी बीन विशेस फॉर मेनी बर्थ्स एंड नाउ वी understand the difference between vices and virtues and now we understand that vices are a poison a sweet poison so when the vices taste sweet but then they damage you so that's the nature of vice a vice is like a sweet poison that tastes sweet but kills so and now that we have the knowledge we understand and we are uh, making the effort to be viceless and we are making the effort to take the power from baba yoga power so that we can conquer our vices but attachment to a bodily being is a very dangerous thing because you see a bodily being is a vicious being every soul in this world right now is in its last birth whether they came in the beginning or in the middle or in the end but they are all in the last birth and every soul is vicious and anybody who is vicious you know is um is not is not a master of himself every vicious soul is a slave of his vices vices make you a slave and even though the soul is pure so every soul is essentially pure but under the influence of vice every soul becomes very selfish and they become servile and subservient to their vices and then they dance at the tune of their vices so the vices can make a soul do anything and everything and that's the condition of every soul in the world and baba says that you know when um and if you see all our relationships are based on a contract which guarantees an exchange of vice so basically vicious souls are taking the supply of their you know they are satisfying themselves through relationships so in some relationships there is a contract of lust in some relationships there is a contract of greed they are after your money there are some relationships which are after your emotional uh you know your emotional juice so <laughs> they want uh they want they are feeding off on your emotional uh, juice that's the emotions of the soul so those are relationships where the contract is that of attach attachment then um there is some which are based on ego so feeding of ego so i scratch your back you scratch mine that kind of relationships are also there so the thing is when we belong to baba and uh, i understand that uh, these vices are poison the sweet poison then what do you do you stop giving everybody what they uh what they are expecting in the contract so you 
stop feeding their lust, their greed, their attachment, their ego. And then what happens? Then those relationships get very, so those souls who are in those relationships, they start getting very angry. So have you seen that? So those very souls who until yesterday claimed that they love you a lot, today they get very angry because their supply of vice is stopped. And it's all about this supply of vice. So basically in this vicious world, there is a hidden unwritten contract of mutual supply of vices in every relationship. And basically any uh, vicious soul cannot think straight. They are thinking, they're, everything they do, they're thinking, they're actions, their care, their everything is dictated by the vice and when that supply of vice stops they go mad so that's what happens and then what happens is uh, if you are attached to such a soul who is under the influence of vices then that becomes very difficult for you because then their their uh, suffering or their pain because they are not getting that supply of vice starts to affect you and then you are also not able to be on your path and I always think about uh, Brahmin souls who are attached to bodily beings as somebody who is trying to climb uh, a mountain but you know they have their backs tied uh, with a rope and that rope is the the you know the other end of the rope is with the person who is standing down there so you are trying to go to baba but then you are tied with a rope the rope of attachment and the and the string of that rope is with the person that bodily being who is vicious and every time they pull the string, you go down. That's your condition. So Baba says, this is why it is very important that you don't have any attachment to any bodily being because bodily beings are vicious. And a vicious person is very selfish. Anybody who is vicious is very selfish. So. You know, um, I think that, you know, the five vices, lust, anger, ego, attachment, greed, uh, all have an undertone of selfishness. So selfishness is a very big vice. And when you're body conscious, you're very selfish because you're empty. So when you're empty, all that matters is your gratification. And that gratification has to come from the relationship, right? So when that gratification is not happening, then this person goes absolutely mad <laughs> because a vicious person is very, very selfish. And then they would do anything to bring you to that place where you quench their vice. So this is, and when you have attachment, they are able to pull you and uh, you know derail you from your path so this is why it is very important that we don't have attachment with bodily beings uh, and you know even if it is another brahmin uh, even if they are on the same path but you know every brahmin also has their individual journey and sometimes they will be okay so they will be on the same page with you sometimes they will have their own you know fall and rise and in those moments also uh, when they are falling they have lost clarity of the path they will pull you so that's the condition so no bodily being even if it is a brahmin at this time they are not um, 
they are not consistent on the path so brahmins are also falling and rising so baba says you should not have any attachment to any bodily being whatsoever just have attachment with one baba and the sign of attachment is remembrance so when you are attached to somebody you remember them so if you remember bodily beings that means there is attachment and the one you remember is able to influence you that's the thing if you don't think about somebody they cannot influence you so do you understand that you have an inner world and the soul so anything happening in the outer world cannot affect you if it cannot enter your inner world and how does anything enter your inner world when you think about it yes so when you attach your mind to something when you remember someone something when you think about them it's that it's then that they start affecting you influencing you and when you have attachment you remember wishes beings and then they start uh, influencing you so baba says that there shouldn't be any attachment to bodily beings and the sign of attachment is remembrance so baba says you must not remember any bodily being and you must remember only one baba because baba is the purifier baba is the liberator from sorrow and baba is the one who takes us from degradation to salvation so baba is the one who we need at this time we are in the abyss we have fallen enough now we only want to rise so baba says baba is the only one who can pull us upwards and this is why there should only be attachment to baba and only remembrance of baba and even when you know um, so so i have seen that you know in this journey as an instrument there are so many souls who come with so many problems and they are suffering they are in pain they are in emotional pain they are in financial pain they are in so much of pain and then what is the reason the reason is again you know this attachment to people places and things and baba says you must also teach everybody to remember baba not just you remember baba but also um also ask everybody or you know uh teach everybody that you are a soul and you have to remember baba you have to be in this old world but you have to remember baba and remove your attachment from people places and things because people places and things in the world are impure and anything impure can only give you sorrow and everything is giving you sorrow because you are attached to them so teach everybody to how to seat themselves on the seat of self respect and how to remember baba because that is the key to peace and happiness that is the key to productivity and success also so baba says you have to remember baba you have to remove your attachment from everyone and everything and also teach everybody to do that because this is the only method to rise in this world and if you have not done that inner work yourself can you tell anybody else to remember baba because you see um have you seen that people uh enjoy watching serials and television and films and other stuff and 
uh, they love to cry watching that because everybody identifies with their own pain and trauma and do you know uh, what do we love to watch we love to watch those same things which trigger the trauma from which we are experiencing pain so baba says that if uh, if you have that trauma inside if you have that pain inside if you have that attachment and sorrow inside then you will not be able to remove the other person from that because when they share their story with you your attachment your pain will get triggered yes so you will not be able to give them objective direction because uh, when somebody talks about a suffering in a relationship and you are not over your suffering in your relationship and you are still attached to the person then how can you liberate them from their suffering so baba says first you have to clean your inner world and then you have to understand that you are just a soul and yours is just one baba and when you are in that remembrance you will be able to lift others also and baba today in the murli says don't waste your time because you have to show the path to many and i will read that out to you baba says you children mustn't waste your time day by day your life span is getting shorter destruction is just ahead if you become careless you will have to have you will have to have great repentance by wasting your time in gossiping you cause yourself a lot of damage you have to save others do you understand that uh, yesterday also i was pointing this out that nobody in the world knows the method to save others only we know the method of how to understand i am a soul and how to remember baba that's the only method to save a soul and baba says you have to do this work you have to remind everybody you have to make them experience that they are a soul and theirs is one baba and none other and they have to remember baba and baba says you have to save others human beings are unable to make others meet the father instead they divert them even further away from the father human beings are not uh, making anybody meet the father human beings who those who are under the influence of vices they are diverting others away from the father now how do you meet the father so there are three necessary conditions to meet the father and experience the father's canopy first is knowing the father second is being a yogi and third is being pure yes knowledge yoga and purity this is what takes us close to baba because baba is in the other dimension baba is uh, so in order to feel close to baba we have to have yoga i have to sit in silence and reflect on my nature as a soul and feel that connection with baba so i have to have yoga i have to have purity because without purity it is not possible to detach from this impure world so do you think that anybody in the world encourages yoga and purity no nobody you wake up at 4 in the morning people will say you will fall ill if you uh, wake up at 4 in the morning 
they will not encourage you getting up at amrit vela and meditating i have seen many people their family members will say that if you uh, you are falling ill or anything you see in kaliyug the health will always go up and down but then when the family members see anything up and down they will say you know you are going through the suffering or ill health because you are meditating in the morning so everybody will try to remove your yoga from baba nobody will encourage you for purity whether it is impure lifestyle impure food people will always encourage you for impurity now baba says you are the only people you are the only souls who encourage other souls to be pure to be yogi and you give the knowledge that makes them be a yogi and be pure so baba says you don't have to waste your time you have to understand that there is a lot of tasks to be performed by you and baba says that if you keep gossiping then who will give the knowledge and what is gossip what is gossip and uh, so when baba says don't gossip in hindi baba uses a very nice word jharmui jhagmui and baba says jharmui jhagmui means gossip and baba says don't gossip so when we say don't gossip what does it mean by not gossiping not gossiping means not saying words which do not take the other soul closer to baba so whenever you are talking to anybody you must understand that your words should be in baba's remembrance and they should take the other soul closer to baba they should take the other soul closer to self realization and closer to the remembrance of baba when you leave that conversation that soul should feel closer to baba that soul should feel that you know i am in control i am in power that is the kind of conversation that baba encourages baba doesn't say that you don't talk baba says don't gossip there is a difference and have you seen that janki dadi ji used to talk so much and she used to always keep sharing and giving classes and making others understand but why uh, and you know baba had given her this blessing that whenever you talk others will keep quiet and this was a blessing from shri baba himself why because it is very necessary that brahmins talk but brahmin should talk in a way that every soul around you comes closer to self realization and god realization so baba says this is the task you have to do that is why don't spend your time in gossip don't spend your time remembering worldly people and talking about worldly matters that is not what we do we remember baba and we talk about spiritual matters and baba says that no human being is going to uh, show the path to other human beings you are the only ones who will bring them closer to baba so this is one thing and then baba says that you children have now received knowledge and so you mustn't perform any sinful acts you mustn't hide anything you know that we have been committing sin for birth after birth if after belonging to the father you still continue to commit sin what would the, what would others say they would say you say that god is teaching you and yet you continue to commit sin if you commit sin and don't tell baba 
that burden will not decrease and that habit will then become firm. Now, we have to understand that Baba is counting on us to create a world free from sins. Yes, a pure world. And Baba says that you must not commit any sin now. What is a sin? A sin is an act performed under the influence of vices. So whenever I am body conscious or there is any vice attacking the soul, then every thought, word and act done under the influence of that vice is a sin. And Baba says, now you don't have to uh, perform sinful actions. And Baba says that if you hide something, now let's understand this thing. You know, whatever you hide will always grow. Yes, so, and uh, I will tell you one thing. So, uh, there was this one brother and he once told me that, Didi, you know, I have this habit of drinking and I am not able to leave that habit. So, I asked him, what is the biggest challenge that you face in leaving that habit? So, he told me that, I drink alone and because I drink alone so there is nobody to stop me so had I dr been drinking in a group maybe you know somebody if I ask told somebody that I'm suffering from ill health or something they would stop me but the thing is I drink and nobody knows it and that's why nobody can stop me and this is a very interesting thing to know because you see when you do something on the sly when you do something and nobody knows about it then there is a, a greater chance that that habit will grow and this is why Baba says that if you do something uh, on the sly if you do something secretly then that habit will increase multifold. Yes, because that habit nobody can stop from increasing because as soon as you are alone, you will start engaging in that habit. So Baba says that it is very important. So I think and it I have understood this in Gyan that if you want to really be viceless, if you really want to win over Maya, then it is very important that you, main, that you get into the practice of maintaining a chart. Every day submitting an honest chart to Baba. And this practice helps us a lot. So if you have made it a practice, to honestly submit a chart to Baba then you will know that today if I do this thing if I do this sinful act then I will have to write it down in the chart and that will help you to overcome that habit because if you are not honest with Baba if you are just keeping everything under the wraps and under the carpet then it will become very difficult to get over those habits. So honesty with Baba is a very good method to uh, get over your habits, sinful habits. And Baba says that this honesty cannot be practiced like, you know, today I was sinful, so I will tell it to Baba. No, it doesn't work like that. So if you have this practice of giving a chart, submitting a chart to Baba every night, then this practice will help you refrain from sinful action. And Baba says, if you don't, in, uh, if you don't take up this habit, take up this practice, then those sinful habits will grow by leaps and bounds every day. 
so this is something if you don't want your sins to become a habit then you must practice honesty with baba so this is one thing and then baba today says a thief continues to steal so he can't think of anything except stealing he is called a jail bird the father explains to you children uh, so you see that it is not that when you if you don't overcome the habit then you know when it becomes a habit you commit a sin and you don't you are not honest with baba and that sin becomes a habit then even if you want to get over the habit one day it will become very difficult because that is all you know even if you want to overcome it you don't know better you can't do better so baba says a thief also you know he steals and then he ends up in jail and there he promises i will not go and steal anything anymore but then again he comes out and steals why because that is all he knows that's why baba says we must make effort to take care that our sins don't become habits and even uh, and i think that you know after becoming a brahmin there is an activation of conscience so our conscience was sleeping all this while in bhakti and when we become brahmins so our conscience gets activated and an activated conscience has the power to overcome old habits but if after becoming a brahmin we don't use the power of this activated conscience and don't get over old habits but we continue performing those sins then in brahmin life when these sins become a habit then it becomes very difficult to overcome and then baba says we will also end up being a jail bird so do you understand that that we had been performing sins for so long but now there is an opportunity to have this relationship with baba take the power of honesty take the power of baba's directions take the power of promise with baba and overcome the sins but if after belonging to baba we don't take this opportunity and we continue to be dishonest and continue to be sinful on the sly then these sins will become a habit here also and then it will become absolutely very difficult to overcome this so this is something that baba says and then baba talks about gossip and baba says that uh you know baba says that if someone gossips about you with you about useless matters instead of reminding you of the father consider that one to be your enemy so in the first instance baba talked about we not gossiping with anybody but now baba says if somebody is gossiping with you somebody is talking about useless matters with you then consider that one to be your enemy why enemy enemy do we hate our enemy <laughs> so the is baba saying hate that person no we are the children of the ocean of love we don't know how to hate so when we see an enemy what do we do we are just careful and aware so when we see somebody who is not good for my spiritual health so i just am aware and alert in their presence that i don't keep my ears open and don't pay attention to what they are saying and then baba says that um only a few will pass with honors those who don't do service will not reach that stage so baba today says that if you don't do service you will not be karmatit 
you will not reach that karmatit stage because there are four subjects yes and you have to pass in all four so there is knowledge there is purity there is yoga but there is also seva so if we don't do seva then we are not going anywhere so baba says that's why seva is very important and then baba today says that a lot of practice is required to stay in yoga no matter how much noise there may be during yoga even if there are earthquakes or bombs are dropped you mustn't be afraid of those things just look what happens nowadays you know that rivers of blood are going to flow in bharat alone so do you understand that uh, the peace time yoga that we are doing is not all so do you understand that the meditation that we do right now in these times is basically peace time meditation so you're getting up at amrit vela and you're meditating in quiet time and there is no sound there is nobody to disturb you but this is practice meditation and why are we practicing in quiet time because we want to apply this yoga power when there are bombs and earthquakes going off so do you understand that we have to have that kind of yoga power that when there are earthquakes happening and bombs are going off we are completely undisturbed and in this connection with baba in our peaceful pure happy loveful divine state so baba says this peace time yoga is a practice yoga so when we are practicing in amrit vela when we are practicing yoga for 8 hours 6 hours whatever we have to understand that these practice sessions are for accumulating the power that makes us ready for the times to come it's not like we always have to keep meditating in that same peaceful environment baba says you have to have such yoga power that when earthquakes and bombs are dropped then also you mustn't be afraid so you must have the courage and the strength from baba in such magnitude that these big events are also not able to disturb your yoga so baba says do you understand that rivers of blood are going to flow in bharat alone when there was partition rivers of blood flowed did they not many calamities are yet to come you will have to see how there will be death for the prey and happiness for the hunter you are becoming angels and we have to finish all our sins all our karmic accounts with this yoga power we have to be stripped off of all the grossness inside us and the angel within has to emerge and only when we have become angels through practicing yoga then only we will be in a state where we we will be uninfluenced by calamities which will come in the end so baba says you have to understand the aim and develop that kind of yoga power okay